giant's coming. Everybody hide! <laughs> A standing guard, pal. It's a great place to live. As long as that Arbuckle guy doesn't notice us, there's no place I'd rather be. Well, let's see. What shall we watch? A 23-hour documentary on how some TV shows are too long, a rerun of a repeat of an encore presentation of an old program we didn't watch in the first place. Here's a travel log about a new tourist attraction dedicated to cheese. Cheese? Uh, turn to Channel 9, Garfield. Huh? <laughs> Welcome to this tour of my greatest new enterprise. That's right, it's me, Eddie Gourmand. And today we visit the world's greatest new amusement park, Eddie Gourmand. This is Cheeseland. I built this because everybody loves cheese. <laughs> so here, the rides are, uh-huh, you got it, made of cheese. The buildings are cheese. The windows in the buildings are cheese. Even the cheese pizza actually contains cheese. Well, that's a novelty. We have cheeseburgers, cheese sandwiches, cheese Danish, cheese crackers, <laughs> cheese without crackers. So plan yourself a cheesy vacation and come to Eddie Gourmand's Cheese Land. That's Eddie Gourmand's Cheese Land. But seven days a week, no mice allowed. Oh, gee, I have a strange urge for a piece of cheese. <laughs> Garfield, old pal, old friend, you gotta take us there. To Cheeseland? You heard the man, no mice allowed. That's why you've gotta take us there. You're smart enough to sneak us in. Oh, no way. You wanna go there, you figure a way in. I'm not gonna go help you sneak into Cheeseland. <laughs> Garfield, I just went into the kitchen and got a piece of cheese. Uh, what's wrong with that? This was attached to it. Can we please go to Cheeseland? This whole house is full of mice again. It's your job to get rid of them. This is where John always threatens to withhold my lasagna privileges. Can we please go to Cheeseland? And if you don't get rid of them right away, no lasagna for the rest of this decade! It's a cheap, constant threat, which is not to say that it doesn't always work. Can we please go to Cheeseland? You want us to leave, Garfield? Take us to Cheeseland. Will it get you out of here if I do stuff like this? Snarl. <laughs> Whoa, where'd that come from? Nope. Can we please go to Cheeseland? <sighs> okay, let's go. Now listen and listen good, cat. I've hired you to keep mice out of my cheese land. Now if you let one mouse, rat, or rodent get in or anything furry, you're fired. Mm, no problem, Mr. Gourmand. I'm on the job. You won't see any mice here. He better not. I got a great job here and I don't want to lose it. I have too many problems. Business is terrible. I thought people love cheese. I don't know what's going on. Hey, Garfield. Oh, it's you, Harry. Fancy meeting you here. Isn't it a little hot for an overcoat? Oh, no, no. I'm uh, very cool. Cool I am. It's 89 degrees. Oh, that cold. Gosh, I should have brought a scarf. Well, see you later, Harry. Huh? Hey! Uh, Garfield, you wouldn't happen to have any mice in that overcoat. Mice? Oh, why would I have mice in my overcoat? You're too funny. Ah, there's no mice in here. Shut up, Humphrey. <laughs> Are we in? Is this cheese land? Not quite. You promised to get us inside. And I will. I have another idea. 
Buongiorno! I am here to deliver more of Vito's phenomenal cheese pizzas to add to the cheese glory of cheese land. Yeah! Grazie, my little pussycatto. Ah, uh, monsieur, uh, Vito forgot to leave these pizzas here. You know the way, pal. <laughs> Have a look at these pizzas. <laughs> There's a great topping. You didn't order the mouse pizza? Scoop. No, but we're already up here. I think we're gonna make it. Oh my, I think we're not gonna make it. I think we're not gonna make it. I was right, we didn't make it. You promised. Squeak. If you're gonna hold me to my promises, I'm gonna stop making them. Can we please go to Cheeseland? We're, We're going, going to Cheeseland! Cheese We're going to Cheeseland! Mm. We're going to Cheeseland! Looks like I did a pretty good job keeping mice out of here. Harry, look out! The mice are trying to get in. Oh, no! Oh, you right. Don't worry. Hey! I'm chasing them out of here. Thanks, Garfield. You just saved me the trouble of. You get to go to Cheese Land? Really? Woo! Hey, you come back here! This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Come on, guys. Let's eat it. Mmm, <laughs> cheddar. Oh, no! Here, here comes the cat! No, no, no. Garfield, I'll get you for this! Come on, Squeak. He's gonna get me for this. I want to taste that building over there. Looks like camembert. Later. Nice going, Garfield. We lost him. Yeah, but uh, what's that terrible smell? It's it's the walls. This place is made out of Limburger. Oh no! Let me out. <laughs> You're gonna cost me my job, Garfield. I gotta get out of this place. Cheeseland except mice, and they don't have any money. Or very little. Too many people these days are lactose intolerant. Excuse me, are you Eddie Gourmand, owner of Eddie Gourmand's Cheeseland? I am, why? I represent a company that builds huge shopping malls in areas that already have too many of them. We'd like to buy this land and build one. 
Oh, you want to buy my land? Indeed. We'll pay you more than you paid to build cheese land. Well, it's a deal. On the condition that you clear all these cheesy buildings off the land. I'll be back later with a contract. <sighs> I'm saved. I'll even make a profit. I just have to figure out how to get rid of these buildings. Hey, Garfield. Yeah, that's a fine idea. Tell your boss we'll clear the land for him. Only if I can help. Hey, Mr. Gourmand says he's gonna get me a job at the new mall. Oh, great. Another piece of gorgonzola roof, Garfield? Oh, no thanks. I'm just finishing off some of the Gouda flooring. And see that three-story building? I'm just trying to figure out how to grill it between two big slices of bread. Ah, maybe I'll just melt it down and have the world's biggest fondue. And given your appalling track record, you're fired, both of you. But, but, but Chief, you can't fire us. Yeah, we, we're the best dog catchers in town. <laughs> Not anymore. Let me introduce you to your replacement. This is the future of dog catching. Say hello to T3000. T3000 Cybernetic Pet Control Officer version 3.2. Launching session. System fully activated. Wow. This robot's kind of creepy. And built solid. 100% indestructible. The T3000 will not stop until every stray cat, dog, and every other offending pet is behind bars, and I'm the only one who can stop him. Estimated time before mission completed, 4 hours, 32 minutes, 13 seconds. I'll be back. Connor? Yes? Toto's yearly vaccination is two days overdue. Oh, uh, I was going to take him to the vet, but... Uh, I came down with a nasty cold, and... Uh, Have a oh. nice day. Oh! <laughs> oh. Got 
gathering data. Matching data. Proceed with next two targets. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh, this better be good. Harry, what's going on? <gasps> the, the, the hog catcher coming th this way. Those two clowns? But they can't even catch a fly. Haven't you heard? They were fired and replaced by this big psycho robot. He's already caught three stray buddies of mine. I have no ID tag, no microchip. Can I hide out here until the heat's off? I'm sure it's him. Don't open the door. Giant psycho robot? Yeah, right. Oh, my. Garfield. Microchip identification number 3435BT-37C22. Huh? Guilty of many crimes, including shoplifting and... That's definitely a big psycho robot. Garfield? Who was it? Uh, uh just the uh, Girl Scouts selling cookies. <laughs> X-ray mode activated. Target detection on the way. House scan results negative. Are you sure he won't be able to see us? Metal, duh. Everyone knows robots can't see through metal. Initiate holographic bait sequence. Come on, Odie. You're not dumb enough to fall for a stupid hologram. Hologram or not, this lasagna sure looks yummy. I know, I totally had it coming. We shook him off. Wow. 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 Hiya, guys. Oh. This new ice cream robot's pretty cool, don't you think? Go home, Nermal. There's a psycho robot on the loose, and it's catching every pet who did something wrong. Why are you telling me this? I've never done anything wrong in my life. Fine. And don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Normal. Microchip ID number 6435XT 4P52. Five time winner of the cutest cat show. Why, yes, that's me. You want my autograph or something? <laughs> but, but uh, I didn't do anything wrong. That's not allowed on the grass. You can't leave me stranded with the unwashed masses. I'm too cute. Somebody help! <laughs> robot is way too efficient. We'll never get our jobs back. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you, Pete. Me too, Al. <laughs> Odie, we've got to help those two clowns get their jobs back. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. We're off duty. Meow. We'll find yourself another dog catcher. Meow, meow. Uh, hey, Pete, I think he's trying to tell us something. I got it! He's afraid of the T-3000! <laughs> and he wants our help! <sighs> hmm. If we team up, maybe we can get rid of that annoying tin can! <laughs> but only the Chief can stop him. Listen up. Here's what we're gonna do. I already gave it the office. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve bothering me this late. What is it you want? 
We came to ask you to give us our jobs back. That will never happen. Now buzz off or I'll call the cops. Activate capture sequence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trespassing on private property. I should have fired those clowns years ago. What on earth do you think you're doing? You are harboring two wanted pets guilty of many charges and felonies. I don't have any pets. You just wait. Go! Oh, my China vase from the Ming Dynasty. My Stradivarius. My designer. Is that all you got, Tin Head? You will be terminated. Oh my... <laughs> Invalid launching session error! Error, error, error. Abort retry! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how I feel after a big meal. My house! My lovely house! <laughs> No, stop! I want you back on the job first thing Monday morning. Fine, but we want a 50% raise. 50%? Are you out of your minds? Oh well, guess we'll just have to release these two savage beasts then. Meow. Fine. You've got your raise. Just get those things out of my house. Hey, thanks for your help. Truce is over. Next time we meet, we'll be after you. Not like they could ever catch us. <laughs> I'm gonna miss them. I kind of liked them. Garfield, microchip identification number 3435BT-37Z22. The usual. Yes, and don't skip on the sprinkles. One day, I'll be back. I found an old empty TV set in a vacant lot down the street. It's heavy, but this'll be worth it. Oh, there you are. I'm about to leave for my trip, Garfield. Bring me something. Now I'm counting on you to be nice to Odie while I'm gone. You can take care of yourself, but if anything happens to Odie... I know, I know. No lasagna until century after next. Well, you know. See you in a couple of days. It's okay, I won't annoy Odie. <laughs> 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 
happen too much. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Walter Turkey Baster with the news for Puppy Dog. And here are the headlines. Major scientific breakthrough in flea bass. City to repaint all fire hydrants. And new low prices on cute little rubber squeaky toys. You dropped your bone. Wait, we have breaking news. The city has just passed a law banning all puppy dogs. No. The mayor has ordered that all puppies be arrested and locked up in a small cage where they will be fed only raisins. <laughs> Quick, Cody, you have to hide. They're coming for you. No, 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 that won't work. They'll find you. <laughs> all right, puppy dog. We know you're in there. This is the police. Come out with your paws up. <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> this is great. Hi, puppy dog. What's wrong, little puppy? I won't hurt you. I didn't know puppy dogs could climb trees. Oh, uh, poor little puppy dog. I hope you didn't hurt yourself. My mommy will see if you're all right. She used to be a nurse. <laughs> I, oh, ouch. Garfield, ouch. that was a mean and crummy thing to do. You're right, Squeak. <laughs> but it was so funny. <laughs> oh, come on, Squeak. Oh, he'll be fine. He'll be wandering back in a little while. And then I'll do it to him again. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this little puppy, Nathan, dear. He's fine. Can we feed him, Mommy? Well, I suppose. <laughs> that is, if he's hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Get those Peruvian sardines out of the refrigerator, dear. <laughs> oh. What's wrong, little puppy? Puppy, you act like you expect someone to swoop in and just take them away from you. They're all yours. You can eat them all by yourself. When is Zodi coming back? I have more tricks planned. He only went across the street. Hey, that kid's part of the new family that moved in here last week. Go, boy! Fetch the stick! He's throwing the stick so Odie can fetch it for him. What's the point of that? When I throw the stick, I make sure it and Odie don't come back for a long time. Okay, he'll be back. <laughs> He'll be back. Mom, the puppy and I get along great. Can I keep him? Huh? Can I? I don't know. He may belong to someone. Puppy, do you belong to someone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Nathan, you did do very well on your latest science project. I guess you deserve a reward. Yay! We need to give you a name, puppy. <gasps> this is a book of doggy names. How about Rover? Fido? Lassie? Oh, that's right. You're a boy dog. How about Fluffy? 
Boy, here's a real dumb name. Can you believe that someone would actually name a dog Odie? Oh. <sighs> All John left me to eat while he's gone is this stuff. Look at these ingredients. No pasta, no ricotta cheese, no marinara sauce, and they call this cat food? I'm gonna go use John's computer while he's gone. Any sign of the pup? Buddy will be back. He'll be back. Why isn't Odie back? I'll have to bring him back. You like this, don't you? And we're gonna get you some new doggy toys. And for dinner, lasagna. Lasagna? I'm eating canned nothing and he's getting lasagna? Nathan! That's Mom. I'll be right back. Odie, quick. Here's our chance. Sneak out the window with me and I'll get you home. You don't want to come home? This is your home now? See ya, Pop. While you're busy, Mom, may I work on my new science project? That's a good idea. Stupid dog. Imagine picking luxury and lasagna over being tormented by me. Well, I won't miss him. In fact, it'll be nice having the house as a puppy-free zone. I don't care if he ever comes back. Puppy, you're gonna help me with my new science experiment. This is my lab, puppy. This is where I'm going to transform you into a cockroach. <laughs> Hi, Garfield. I was just placing a bid on a piece of cheddar, and I was looking at some of the videos John's taken of you around the house. So, Odie isn't coming back? No, I can't understand why. Here, I'll show you why. Excuse me? 27 feet, a new record. Don't slurp. Don't slurp. I'm asking you nicely, don't slurp. All right, you're asking for it. Do not open till Christmas. <laughs> now do you see why? I guess. What difference does it make? He's living the good life across the street. It's no use. You can't get away. You'll be a cockroach in no time. <laughs> Whoa, he sounds upset. Maybe they're out of his favorite mustard. <laughs> Sound like he's having a great time. No, he doesn't. Oh. Wait for me! <laughs> In one minute, you'll be a cockroach! <laughs> Everyone will want to turn their dog into a cockroach! Oh. Hurry, here's what I need you to do. Okay, I want some to do this. Why does someone always interrupt you just when you're about to turn your dog into a cockroach? 
Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Turning you into a cockroach. I was about to... Where'd he go? Where did my cockroach to be disappear to? <laughs> Sorry, fella. I need my friend back. I've been kind of rotten to him lately. No! You can't do this to me! This is my adventure mine! This is only supposed to be used on death! I'm my math teacher! We made it! <laughs> What? You heard me say I've been kind of rotten to my friend lately? Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't mean that. I just, what I was, well, it's... We have breaking news. Odie the Pup is home, and Garfield won't do anything mean to him for at least two weeks. <sighs> Make it a week and you got a deal, pal. <laughs> You think you can rob a bank and get away with it? When will you criminals learn that you are no match for ultra-powerful guy? <laughs> Once again, I have saved the day and brought justice to the world! Boy, ultra-powerful guy sure has a high opinion of himself. Garfield, could I have a potato chip? No. But I guess if you are uh, perfect and admired, it's hard to be humble. Here, have a potato chip. Thanks, Garfield. Oh. Hey, well, I don't need your snacks. I'm so cute, I could get it on my own. This I gotta see. Are my eyes deceiving me, or is that the cutest kitty I ever saw? He's so adorable! Here, let's give him an entire pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and Canadian bacon. <laughs> Sorry, Garf. I don't have a slice to share. Oh, if Ultra Powerful Guy came by, I bet you'd have a slice for him. Idea happening. Where's that long underwear of John's? <sighs> now I'm gonna need a towel and some boots. <laughs> Didn't know I was this handy, did you? Here you go, boy. A nice dish of sardines. <laughs> Beware, evildoers! You thought you could get away with your evil doing, but you failed to reckon with the awesome might of Ultra Powerful Guy. Wow! Citizen, have you seen any evildoers around here? I'm searching for the villainous Dr. Drastic. He's a master of disguise, and I have reason to believe he's currently made himself look like this. 
But don't be afraid. He's only dangerous when he spreads around his disastrous Omega-3 explosive devices which he makes to look like harmless but delicious sardines. <laughs> Great Scott, that diabolical villain. Fear not, citizen. Ultra-powerful guy is on the job. I shall dispose of these dangerous items. Up, Up and away! <sighs> Hi, boy. How are those sardines? Bodhi! What's wrong? Odie, stop! It's me, John! John! Mmm. Oh, gosh. Wish I had a napkin. Oh, wait. I always wondered why superheroes needed capes. Now I know. <gasps> I wonder if there are any cat shows I could enter today, and of course, win. <laughs> Let's see, calculators, caterers, caterpillars. Ah, here we go, cat shows. <laughs> Two o'clock, I'll win it and be home by three. Hey, hey, it's stuck. Hey, I'm trapped in this phone booth! Help! I'm stuck in this phone booth! Help! This looks like a job for ultra-powerful guy. Here I come to save the day! Ouch. Ouch. You saved me! Who are you? <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Oh, I thought everyone knew ultra-powerful guy. What? I fly. I leap over tall buildings in a single bound. I eat, which reminds me. All of this superheroing stuff has made me work up an appetite. Could you show your appreciation by, uh, kindly supply me with a Sure. It's the least I could do for ultra powerful guy. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> What a cute cat. Here, take this plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Here you go, UPG. Thanks. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to eat here. Oh, sorry. See you later, superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's how you eat spaghetti, kids. None of this twirling on a fork jazz. You know what kind of dessert goes after spaghetti? Any kind of dessert. My, what an incredibly cute cat. Say, incredibly cute cat, have you seen two men around here? They're wanted criminals. Sorry, haven't seen anyone. Oh, this is great. I'll rescue Normal again and have his cute magic reward me with a couple of pies. Here we go. Hey, hey, slow down. I have to get to him before you. Citizen, look out. I'll protect you from that runaway dumpster. Stop this thing! Yeah! I'm telling you, Joe, this is the time to rob that bank. And I'm telling you, Mo, not with Ultra Powerful Guy around. That guy's too, he's too... Ultra Powerful? That's the word. He can do anything. Yeah! Anything except stop a runaway trash dumpster. Apparently. No, no, help! Whoa! That didn't look very ultra-powerful to me. Me neither. <laughs> I'll bet Batman doesn't get banana pills in his mask. Hey, Mo, you see that? I see, I see. Ultra-powerful guy without his mask. He's a... he's a... cat! Yeah, kind of a fat one, too. Gotta hurry. I have dessert coming. 
<laughs> Just think, we know Ultra Powerful Guy's secret identity. And we know his weakness. He is a cat. Let us go rob ourselves a bank. Let us. It's real simple. I saved your life, I get a reward. Aren't superheroes supposed to fight for truth and justice? Yeah, we do all that stuff, but sometimes we also need pie. Now get on with it, banana cream with some chocolate sprinkles. All right, I'll put on my best banana cream pie with chocolate sprinkles cuteness. <clears throat> Meow. My goodness, I've never seen a cuter cat in all my life. Here's a chocolate cream pie with banana sprinkles. <laughs> <sighs> Close enough. Ooh. Wow, you're kind of a disappointment, ultra powerful guy. Not now. I have a pie. Oh, <laughs> gee, ultra powerful guy wasn't that impressive. I wish I could have seen him do something really ultra powerful. Huh? Oh no, a bank robbery. What do we do? What do we do? I know. This looks like a job for Ultra Powerful Guy. Hey! But I keep telling you, I don't do bank robbers. You know what I'm good at. Give me another pie. You're a superhero. It's your duty to foil those nasty bank robbers. I, I don't suppose you guys would like to stop in the name of the law? It's Ultra Powerful Guy. <laughs> we ain't afraid of Ultra Powerful Guy. Because we know his secret, and that we can defeat him with this. What is that? You don't know what it is? It's a catnip mouse. <laughs> Which is every cat's weakness. Doesn't do anything for me. Maybe if you had one stuck with lasagna. It ain't working. Yeah, let's get out of here with the loot. <laughs> <laughs> Great Scott, this looks like a job for... Ultra Powerful Guy! Huh? Hey, you closed the door in my case. What? Wait, stop! Cape Cod! Yoo-hoo! Whoa! Stop, please! Never once happened to Batman, trust me. Stop the car! Save a cat! Ah! End of the road for you three. Ah! Two! There are two of them. Honest, I'm just sort of a, a tag-along or pull-along. I don't count. What? Nice work, Cat. <laughs> if you hadn't delayed them, I never would have caught them. That was awesome, Ultra Powerful Guy. You were just amazing and... Hey, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Oh, come on. Tell me, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Guys, this is not fair. One of you is a real Ultra Powerful Guy. Which is it? I am. <laughs> come on, okay. Which one of you is the real ultra powerful guy? I am. Oh, this is impossible. All right, guys. Last time. Which one of you, real UPG, hit me? I am.
I need a break from this, folks. Do me a favor. Grab your remote control and pause this for a second. Phew. Thanks. Uh, you're probably wondering how we got into this mess, right? Well, it all started earlier today with a picnic by the lake. It was a pretty good picnic. John, Liz, the dog, and me. Oh, and the food was pretty good, too. I think I put it best when I said... I'm full. I'm full. I'm so full I couldn't eat another bite if my life depended on it. And for dessert, I brought along a strawberry what? cheesecake. Okay, maybe one more bite. Garfield. Or two. Or 78. Garfield, this cheesecake is for all of us. And it's for later. <laughs> Liz and I are going for a walk around the lake. Do not eat the cheesecake while we're gone. And this is where John made his customary cheap threat. <laughs> if you do, you can walk the 20 miles home. Hey, that wasn't a bad one. <laughs> Come on, John. I need to stretch my legs. What do you think the chances are that cheesecake will be there when we get back? Oh, it'll be there. It'll probably be inside Garfield, but it'll be there. I was glad they went for a walk. Now there was nothing that could interrupt my nap. <sighs> well, almost nothing. I do not want to play a game. Oh, all right. I'll play a game. How about if we play Go Get It? You don't know how to play Go Get It? Okay, then I'll teach you. Go get it. It's my favorite game, Go Get It. If they put it on television, they'd make a fortune. Mm, that cheesecake looks mighty good. No, I need to sleep, and I don't want to walk home. Now just give me a little more rest. And again, it's only 20 miles. Anyway, while I was contemplating that dilemma, Odie was in search of his bone. Now, I wasn't there for this part, but I found out later he looked everywhere for it. In the bushes, behind rocks. There was no sign of it. He was just about ready to give up when he spotted it. It was a little wolf, just a couple of weeks old. Odie thought the wolf was very cute, but he wasn't about to let it have his bone. Well, he wasn't until he realized how hungry the little wolf was. Odie discovered the joys of sharing your food with someone else. I'll have to try that sometime. Maybe not this millennium. After a while, Odie realized that there wasn't much nourishment in that old bone. The little wolf still looked hungry. Where to get food, he wondered. Where to get food. But of course, there was only one answer. Odie brought the little wolf back to the picnic area where I was in my usual habitat, dreamland. <sighs> Odie usually doesn't do sneaky things, but I guess hanging around with me for all these years has uh, had its effect on him. <laughs> Meanwhile, John and Liz were finishing their hike. Don't you want to get back while there's still a chance of a small piece of cheesecake? You know, sometimes I don't have enough faith in Garfield. He's basically a good cat. <laughs> you watch. I'll bet the cheesecake is untouched. John was wrong. It had been touched, all right, but just not by me. Good, because I can't wait to have some of that cheesecake. Odie probably wasn't worried about what they do to him. He was worried about the little wolf. Huh? 
Just give me a small piece of cheesecake, Liz. I don't want to... Huh? We'll be small. About the size of a crumb. Garfield! Yikes! I... How could you? How could you eat that entire cheesecake while we were away? Huh? I didn't eat the cheesecake, honest. On my honor as an overweight pussycat, I did not eat one bite of that cheesecake. Did I eat that cheesecake? No, amazingly, I did not. You're lying, Garfield. If you didn't, who did? Odie would never do anything that sneaky. John, you're not gonna make him walk home. No, but I should. I'll figure out a suitable punishment when we get home. <sighs> This feels like we didn't eat all the food. How did that happen? We got the car all packed up and we headed back to town. It was probably about then that the little wolf's mother arrived. She must have picked up the scent or something. She was pretty determined to get her baby back, no matter how far she had to follow. All the way home, I was angry. I'm innocent, I tell you. I never touched that cheesecake. The one time I didn't take the food and I'm being punished for it. <laughs> John dropped Liz off at her place and then we headed for home. I'll be over after I finish some chores. And someone else was heading for our home too. <laughs> of course John was still mad at me. How could you? I didn't. Huh? <laughs> Bodhi was worried that he'd get in trouble for giving a cheesecake to the wolf. Or maybe that somebody would put his new friend in a zoo or something. How could you? When nobody was looking, he snuck the little wolf out. Odie told the little wolf to stay there in the garage and he'd bring him food. He was probably going to borrow another cheesecake and they'd blame it on me. It was about then that our visitor arrived. About the time I thought John had forgiven me for the cheesecake incident. Dinner, Garfield! Well, it's about time. Maybe John finally realized I'm innocent. Of this, anyway. I'm having a porterhouse steak, baked potato with everything, glazed carrots, sautéed <laughs> mushrooms, and a dinner roll. You get Kitty Crunch dry imitation cat food. It's not fair! I'm being punished for eating an entire cheesecake, and I didn't even get to eat the entire cheesecake. That's all you're getting for the rest of the month. Oh, I'll bet Odie would enjoy that yummy piece of steak. Odie, here, boy! He's just doing this to torment me. It's working, I'm tormented. Come on, Odie, come enjoy the steak! Huh? Uh... I didn't. The word you're looking for is wolf. What do we do, Garfield? I think it's obvious what we do. We run! So that's how we wound up being chased around John's house by a savage wolf. Do you understand now? No, 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 no. Don't unpause the video. Too late. It looks like.
like this is it for us, Garfield. Do you have any final regrets? Yes, I regret that I didn't eat the cheesecake. control people to take them back to the woods where they belong. Thanks, Liz. Oh, by the way, I examined a little wolf cub. He had strawberry cheesecake in the fur around his mouth. You mean he... Uh, not Garfield? Just because I can't talk doesn't mean you can't listen to me. Come on, Garfield. I think I owe you a good meal to say I'm sorry. I think about a ten lasagna apologies in order. I make that eleven. 